What's good, Dragon Ball Super fans out there? It's your boy Rebel here, back again with another video for you guys. Yo, this was possibly one of the best episodes in a tournament of power thus far. I just made a video about top five best fights in a tournament of power, and this easily cracks the top five for me. But Aniraza is a problem, and when he threw on those wings, bruh, I'm like, nah, nah, nah. He, he definitely a whole character on his own, different character. This man is a problem. I wish we got to see him earlier in the Tournament of Power because he would have been wrecking so much shit. And then when Android 18 got eliminated, my theory went out the window. But my theory was safe, honestly. It was safe because it was Android 17 that was going to get eliminated. Android 18 dumbass wants to go save him, which was a, definitely a great idea. It was the best idea. But the fact of the matter was 17 was going to get in eliminated then 18 saved him so now of course i gotta make up a whole nother prediction on the top five on who's gonna get eliminated then but then, besides that we're gonna get to that to the next next video or whatever but anyways this episode the teamwork after you've seen android uh 18 go down the teamwork was ridiculous this shot right here was the best shot of the whole tournament of power it goes up there with vegeta and goku doing a um final kamehameha this right here was just amazing. Overall, everything else, there was there was certain parts of this episode where I was just like, damn, Honey Raza, if you would have done this earlier in the Tournament of Power, you honestly would have been like, you probably would have been eliminated where, way earlier because you would have caught the eye of Jiren to me. And if that wasn't going to happen, someone else was going to eliminate you like Goku Maybe the whole team because it took the whole five fighters just to eliminate this guy. This guy was on some other nonsense. And what else caught me off guard was when um, 17 started acting more like aggressive. Like when he put that energy shield and ran through that little like um, energy blast, he ran through it and just powered up and just hit this man in his head and broke his little shield thing, his little um, whatever diamond you want to say. I don't even know. Ruby on the top of his head. Broke that. I'm just like, yeah, 17 the man. He's finally back. We've been waiting to see this man in action like this in a while. So it seems like we're going to get a lot of action from 17 now. That is down to three fighters that they got to fight. So we definitely going to see a lot of that. But when Universe 3 went down, there was no like sad moment. But this was honestly one of the best moments right here. Seeing that there was actually someone in the robot. A lot of people did like expect that there was actually someone in a robot some people were saying like it was Broly in a robot stuff like that but it just seems like we didn't know what was going to be in a robot or was it actually a robot like the god of destruction was actually a robot but this right here cleared it up I, now i wish we at least got some answers to this part right here that there was actually a person in the robot and it seemed like the supreme kai actually knew this too so we all were stumped but now we got to look forward to 122 this is getting real. Preview look amazing. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. We are one subscriber away from 300. That's our goal, 300 before 2018. So if you guys want to help out with that, hit that red subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell notification. Don't forget to hit that like button. And I'll check you guys later. Peace, YouTube.